how to sell Wix website templates. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can get the Wix templates on Wix and sell them to your favorite stores online. So you are going to make them as a digital product and sell them to the customers. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to Wix.com, sign in or sign up with an account on the platform and start creating the website. So if you are going to be new on this platform, you're going to, after you have uh, signed up, you're going to get this page, which is the uh, Wix cr website creator uh, here choice. You can go ahead and head over Wix Studio or continue with the standard Wix editor. Choose, go ahead and choose your own template and boom. So as you can see here, we have created some websites or rather I would say that I have chosen some templates that I am going to make some changes and then we are going to sell them. So for example, we are going to choose this one, my site number six. We're going to click on select and edit. It will open up here the control panel or the dashboard of the Wix website that I have chosen. Then we are going to click on a design site. Before I click on design site or let me click on it and then we are going to explain to you something. Here on the Wix website that you have created or the template that you have chosen, make sure that you are going to let it as a trial and not upgrade it for anything except if you are going to buy a domain. So that means that you don't have or you must not put or link any credit card, a payment method, or a uh, payment plan or subscription for the website because it will be following you and be charged to your billings and also your name. So make sure that you are going to not use a business email, uh, use a domain if you want, buy it and um, give it to the customer if they have uh, paid for it, of course, and make sure that you are going to give them only the free plan. So that was a very, very uh, uh, here, an important information for you because if you do give away the addresses and also the uh, billing cards that you have, you are going to get a lot of charges and you will not know until the, you will receive an email for invoicing. So aside from that, we are going to click on the website that I have clicked on design. Then here we have the website. As you can see, I have this template. I fully didn't do nothing for that website except adding or removing some uh, sections. So as you can see, it is a stock website. So at the left side of the screen, we have here the different elements. You can go ahead and add a element right there or a click on it and it will drop down a, here a mega menu that you can add some different elements from here. You can add a store, a blog, you can add a text, an image. Uh, right there a button a strip whatever you want from this one so go ahead and design your website as much as you want so for the second part it is going to be here a section so you can add uh, some different sections right there so select where you are going to choose or drop your section here we have a lot of uh, customized and pre-made sections so you can go ahead and add from the welcoming section to the um, thinking uh, sections for the clients and here we have the third thing which is going to be the sites management and pages of course with the menus so you're going to see here the different pages that you have here we are going to click on site menu then you are going to control and see all the pages right there you can go and make some uh, of the pages visible and visible whatever you want and add whatever you want from the pages now let's go ahead and add a section. So between each section and section, we have an intersection, of course, and here we have the button appearing of adding a section. You are going to click on it. It will add randomly or automatically a blank section. And that section could be used for uh, here, adding a design section or pre-made section, or add some elements. And also, of course, we have the AI section generator. So I'm going to add something to it or not a section, but I am going to add an element. So it will pop up here, this mega menu. And from that, you are going to add something like this box. So you need only to drag and drop it. 
and here you can go ahead and add multiple boxes for example by pressing Control d to duplicate these boxes of course like that so i'm going to click on shift and uh, here make sure that i'm going to put here a selection Control d again and here we have made a little box design so i am going to change the color of it for example design the color of this we are going to make it that so that one i'm going to make the color of it to this red and etc so you can go ahead and do that for the all the images for example like this and etc so we are will let one of the images uh, blue and let's go ahead and play it like this this one is going to be black so this is just a modification that i have made so let's go ahead and see uh, how we can sell it now after we have designed our website as i did before even it is a small changes right there so you are going simply to make some screenshot of the website i'm going to let you see here some screenshot that i have took uh the uh, last one or the last uh, right there so i think that it is right there not this one i'm going to let you see here how we can take some screenshots so you are going basically to click on the screenshot then you are going to open up paint and then you are going to press here control v it will open up here the uh, image that you have took so we are going simply to click on the selector right there select the image that we need without the uh here are the information about a computer so we are going to click on uh, press control and click on c now we are going to click on file click on you do not save it and boom here we have the first image you're going to simply save it as website one two three for example you are going to choose the uh here this is the first thing you can go ahead right there and uh, make the um, screenshot of all of the elements right there as you can see here we have uh, the uh, possibility to add it also or sell it into our wix website as you can see here we have the same uh the venture right there or the same facing menu or header it is right there because i have created a mock-up for it so i have a uh, used canva to make a mock-up this is the final result so right there i have created two versions the first version is without this text you're going to see it here so basically it is here and the second version is going to be having the text and also it will be having a link so we are going to use canva this is a design of a 1280 pixel by 720 which is the YouTube thumbnail standard size. You're going to add a link right there to it. And that link is going to be the editing link right there of your website. So we are going back here, click on it, select all of this, delete it and paste your the editing link. Now we are going to download this as a PDF. So we are going to sell it as a digital file because the PDF only is going to be here uh, clickable. This image would be clickable. So we are going to ignore that because I have already downloaded that. So we are going to let you see it here. Here we have it. I have downloaded it as a PDF. When you click on it, it will take you directly to the website editor on Wix. Now we are going to add the image or the cover image to the different platforms that we are going to sell the templates on. For example, we can use Squarespace. You're going to open an account on Squarespace, add the uh, product as a digital product. You can also use it on or do, uh, here, sell it and download it to GoDaddy. Here they have the website and hosting. The website builder is a new feature. So you are going to get a website right there and you can go ahead and publish it. Go ahead to your account right there. So here we have a website that is already on Squarespace. Also, we have here the uh, websites on GoDaddy. And the final one is going to be the most famous store on the web, which is Shopify. So we are going to head over the products on Shopify. Make sure that you have implemented digital downloads like that. 
for download so i will see if it is available on the market or it is installed already so here we have it this is the digital downloads go ahead and do that only for shopify it is installed already so we are going to open it i'm not going to let it like that but here we have the website of squarespace i'm going to the products i will let you see here how we can do that so we can go ahead and click on add product here we are going to add a download or a digital product so you are going simply right there do the same thing on any platform that you want you're going to set up here the product name for example website or wix website template for example and here you are going to set up a description uh, the images is going to be here for example this one or we are going to upload more files here i have took a lot of pictures of the website as you can see here we have it uh, the different component of the website here we have a mock-up on how we look on the mobile version and also the laptop you can go ahead and upload the inventory which is going to be the file and here we have the key to access the website and this is it so you are going simply to upload it and here you are going to set up the tags for example wix template website for example template website template like that and etc so for the selling tools you are going to set it like this for example you can add some uh, add-ons set some feature product the uh, checkout you can go ahead and modify checkout form or button and here don't forget to set up the price for example here we are going to set up for 100 dollar and here we have it the file is ready now you are going simply to click on publish a file where is our file so i think i think i think it is uh, going to be here um uploading so it doesn't matter for this one now let's go to shopify or going to click on add product this is the same thing so you are basically going to be if you're sitting here wix website like that uh, template for example here you are going to set up with the same thing right there the images you are going to uh drop the images like that and this one just an example you are going to set up the price and here you are going to uh, uncheck this shipping for the product right there click on save i'm going to continue this so it doesn't matter for photos and the most important part right there after you have set up on shop by this you're going to click on more action after you have set the product as active click on add digital file and here we have the part that you are going to implement the pdf or the access to it so you are going to click on add files add it here and boom so we are going to set it like that now for the uh, website to be added to a uh, new owner you're going to head over here or the wix uh, dashboard now we are going to click on settings after the the buyer have uh, set the, uh, the payments or settle it and etc they will give you their email address so you are going basically to get that email address and put it right here as uh, the new ownership so you are going to click on settings search on settings ownership and type in this ownership and then you are going basically to uh, here uh, set up the new owner on your wix so you are going to set up here owner because here we are going to uh, put the uh, ownership to the new here to the uh, new person so we are going to click on change owner and then you are going to set up here the uh, email address of it and click on continue and it will be there uh, with their account also their website so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.